This is the new Bench Boss from Loon. It's designed to be a sturdy solution for storing all those tying necessities so that you can use your time wisely at the bench and not endlessly searching for that one tool you always need. Hey everyone, Matt here with the Northern Angler in Traverse City, Michigan. You can find the Bench Boss and tons of other great tying products at thenorthernangler.com. The first thing I want to talk about is the footprint of the Bench Boss. I really like the size of this thing. It's seven by eight by two inches tall. It's almost a square. It's, it's just right. I think this will fit well at desks that are a little bit smaller. It fits fine at large desks. For me, I have a little shelf at the back of my desk and this will fit perfectly on top or even slid underneath. So if I feel like put my tools away and just wiping everything into the trash or maybe I just want to get everything out of the way so I can clean and pick through stuff. Um, we all have those disaster zone situations once in a while. It's just a really good footprint. It's just enough. It's not too much. I've seen some that are long and narrow and it's just they kind of dominate the desk sometimes and I like to really spread things out. So this is this is well thought out. I like the footprint a lot. When it comes to storage solutions, you can tell Loon designed this to hold some of their products specifically. And I don't blame them for that. I would probably do the same thing. Loon has done a great job pushing the envelope in the tying world the past few years. They've come out with specific tools for specific jobs. And we all know I like that. So I have no issue with that whatsoever. At the top, you've got storage for two of the larger UV adhesive bottles. You know, not everyone is going to take advantage of this. It's a major investment if you're not tying a ton. I use a lot of flow and a lot of thin, so I, I do have those bottles and I like having a spot for those because you're not going to find another organizer that has a specific slot designed for that oval shaped bottle. That, that's an A+. I'm glad they didn't go too crazy with that because again, that's a small percentage of tires are going to make that investment in that much adhesive at one time. So alternatively, you've got five slots that'll hold the, the smaller bottles. I think there are half ounce bottles. And those can also be used to hold some of the smaller things like Swax, that's their tying wax. I have the Bench Boss here that I'm, I'm just testing out here with four different style of the smaller bottles. So I've got Flow, I've got Thin, I've got Thick, and one of the color pigmentated, uh, I've got like, it's like red or blue or some crazy color for some hot spots. And then I do have the Swax in there as well, but you can kind of pick and choose how you want to lay those out. At the back of the top, there's two slightly larger spots. These are designed for Loon's hard head and soft head, more traditional head cements. And that's great because those still have a big place at my bench. If you're tying anything with a soft silicone material, maybe a squirmy wormy, dare you, soft head is the only thing that seems to work excellent and last a long time. So it's good to have a spot for those because a lot of people still use traditional adhesives and UV is not for everything. I tell people that all the time. That's It's not a fit all solution. It's great to still have an adhesive, a head cement that penetrates the thread and really holds your knots tight. So I'm, I'm very happy to see that. I used one of those slots to hold my infinity light. It'll also hold a bench light, but it will not hold the big plasma. So you, you've got to find another display for that or somewhere to put it. Um, there's some other slots. Uh, I'm gonna, I'll start off with the, with the extreme positive. They nailed the amount and size of the bobbin slots. I can fit all the different bobbins I own, which is probably too many, um, but they all fit. It's, it's, even if you have a flared bobbin that has a taper to it, that'll fit in here. And really happy to see that. I've had some other organizers that, unless you have a very, very thin nozzle, your bobbin will not fit in there. So it's great to see that this will accommodate bobbins other than loons, which 
we, we know there's some really good ones out there. Everyone makes a pretty good bobbin. So you can use these spots as well for things like a bodkin. I also have the D-loop tweezer in there. It's, it's nice. Um, and then you've got three little bit larger slots over there, I, I think are perfect for scissors. This is not, you know, your scissor carousel. You can find some other things out there. I have one that holds probably 20 pairs of scissors. But this is the core. You can put your all-purpose, your razor scissor, maybe your, you know, your material scissors in there, something that'll cut through a little bit of everything. So good job there. Um, here's what's odd for me. You know, I think the core tools are really important and everyone should have a spot for their core tools. So your scissor, your bobbin, your whip finish, hopefully a bodkin, super underrated by the way. Um, I, I can't figure out if, if they overlooked a spot for the whip finish. Um, you know, the whip finish I'll show you here has kind of an odd, you know, it's, that's their ergo thing. Um, but there's this cutout in the middle and I, I just can't believe that's what that's for. Uh, because then it just it wobbles back and forth. It likes to catch other tools as a whip finish will. There's a hook on it. Um, and that kind of leads into my other my other thing. And this is this is a very not loon specific um, discussion. I think these companies have amazing designers, people that spend way more time than you would ever believe designing something like this. It's that's what's so cool is there are people that just, they want to help you stay organized. They want to help you, you know, improve your experience, whether it's at the bench or on the water or on the way to the water. Um, a lot of times these companies forget to tell you what some of these design features are. And I'm, I'm left wondering for a few things on this, what's this for? I'd like to know at least what the intention was. And then I, I feel like we can better evaluate it, what, how they did on it. So I just, I, like I want some, maybe I want a diagram or at least some information about intention. And I know I'm going way off the tangent train right now, but I, I went through their website. I haven't seen a video from them. Maybe they'll release a video that, that talks about some of the features specifically and how they're designed to be used. This is brand new again, um, but I, th I think a lot of companies could do better in helping consumers understand what it is and why it is. And then we can appreciate it more. I mean, that's, I mean, that's so many things, you know, we've all bought things. And then once we've realized why that they're amazing, they've been discontinued and it's, it just takes a while to catch on. So give us some more information companies. That's all we want. So, you know, back to that, that discussion of a place for everything. Maybe I would have liked to have seen a, a spot for those core tools, um, you know, that are, you know, easy access to your top tools instead of reaching over or around. And most of those are, are probably going to fit in these small holes up front, but just throwing that out there. It's an idea. I'm not a designer. I'm just talking about my experience with this. A feature I was really happy to see with the Bench Boss was more than just two spots for hooks and beads. You can go out and buy, you know, a foam thing or a magnetic cup or something that'll hold some beads and hooks. But if you're like me, um, sometimes you you like to jump around at the vise. You know, an idea hits you and you just you have to get it out of your head and onto a hook. So I, I really like that there's four different recessed indentations here for beads and hooks. My guess is the right side here are designed for beads. They're a little bit deeper, you know, things you don't want to jump out. And it's a nice curved bottom, so you can kind of grab one with your finger and work it out from there. Um, the indents at the center, I think, are probably for hooks, which is great. It's fun to jump around as a, as a tire. That's why we do it, and I, I like that this has the option for that so you can you can multitask. The last feature I want to cover real quick is the feather bender. This is kind of cool. I'm glad they did this. It's kind of a unique thing to incorporate. But the best part about it is they didn't 
use a ton of space to do this. I, I have a feeling they probably had a little bit extra space left over um, to integrate that. I don't think everyone's going to use that. I, I probably, if it were me, would have widened this just a little bit more to put two more dishes on the left side rather than just on the right. That's just me. Um, hopefully you're using it and thinking it's an awesome feature. Let me know, by the way, down below if that's something you're gonna use on this product or if you've ever played with something like that. You can kick out some really unique, really cool stuff with, with tools like that. And I'm glad that at least with them putting this on here, it, it does not dominate the landscape of this. It's kind of just off to the side, it's not going to get in the way. Final thoughts, who is this for? The Bench Boss is for really any tire that's made at least a minimal investment into tools and adhesives. It makes tons and tons and tons of sense if you've gone down the UV adhesive road because this will hold most of your adhesives, it'll hold a light and you don't have to dig through stuff. You know, I, I like this thing, I think it's it belongs on people's desks. I think that you will tie more if you strive to be organized. Notice I said strive because I always say we strive to be organized, but rarely is it actually achieved. Uh, if you're organized, you will tie more. For me, I go in, I look at my desk and I see that mess and I think, gosh, I have to invest at least a half an hour of tidying and putting stuff away before I feel like I'm not working in clutter. So even just something as simple as this, knowing where all your tools are can be a huge, huge difference in how much productivity you have at your desk. So think about it, you know, it's a great gift item. Um, it's, it's an investment, it's not a super cheap organizer, but again, I, I think it's super functional. It gives you a spot to put hooks, beads, and allows you to work in that production mode, which I encourage people all the time, work in a production line, do all the tails, do all the bodies, do all the wings, then do all the heads. You'll be more consistent. And then all at once, your box will fill up, which is kind of a bonus. So check out the Bench Boss. Um, let me know what you think of the, the review. I, I just tried to keep things even keel. And again, we just want you to have all the information possible so that you can make the right decision for yourself. I like it, I think it'll keep you organized and uh, hopefully it'll help you tie a few more flies this winter. Check it out at thenorthernangler.com if you're interested. We've got tons of other stuff there, tying tutorials, articles, and more materials than you'll probably ever need, but you can try, right? So leave us some comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't done already. If this was helpful, maybe leave us a thumbs up. We appreciate it. We'll see you soon in the shop or out on the water.